topic of this video is graphing functions from the library of functions. Here's our problem. Graph the constant function, f of x equals 7. Now, the first thing I'd like to mention about this is there could be any number here, and it would still be the constant function. So f of x equals 1, or f of x equals negative 5, or f of x equals 7. The interesting thing about the constant function is, whatever the input x is, the output f of x is always 7. So if we look at our diagram, the original input is x. x goes into a machine named f, and the instructions of f say, ignore the input, out comes 7. So a 7 comes out. It doesn't matter what you put in, a 7 comes out. So we get points like this, negative 2, 7, negative 1, 7, 0, 7, 1, 7, 2, 7. The output is always 7. It doesn't matter what x is. All right, so now we're going to create our graph. I'm going to make a dashed square centered at the origin, which gives me the location of 1 and negative 1. And then when I erase the corners, that allows me to make a consistent graph scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, etc., etc., etc. Okay, now we're going to plot our points. And so we get points like negative 2, 7, which would be here. Negative 1, 7, same height. 0, 7, same height. 1, 7, same height. 2, 7, same height. Clearly, this is making a line. Lines, line segments, and rays must be drawn with a straight edge. So again, use your straight edge and draw the constant function. And there's one more thing I'd like to say before we call this particular video done. Clearly, the constant function is a horizontal line. We've studied horizontal lines before. Horizontal lines have equations that are of the form y equals some number. Do we observe that in this problem? We do f of x is the same as y. So this is like saying y equals 7. So we get the horizontal line at a height of 7. This is how you graph the constant function.